Hello guys and good morning. Um, this is your good nerdy morning show and we're live and today um, first off I want to say thank you for all the viewers and for all the support. I know it's uh, morning time there in the Philippines 9 o'clock and this is the Java coffee for you guys. Now today we're going to do some experiment about how we can actually um, run a computer without a case. Now, a lot of people usually know already that um, you can actually use a computer without a case. There's a pr benefit on that and there's also um, you know, negative effect, of course. And today we're going to tackle that and we're going to you know, break apart um, the, old, the old system that we actually mm -hmm. built with a, um, the toothpaste. And, um, we're gonna go go side by side and um and step by step for me to be able to to tackle that for you guys now um again I wanna thank everyone for uh, all the support and to their group and um I had a little issue this morning or well um earlier my my old mic broke so I'm using my old reliable, my um, Blue Yeti. So, I I'm sorry if I'm a little bit running behind, but you know, for you guys, I will do my best. So, first off, I wanna I wanna highlight some some things here that I prepared for for the group. Um, I don't have any questions or anything uh, that happened. Um, this past week and I had to to schedule the, the live wire talk to another week that way um I can actually you know fill up the questions and write all the questions for you guys that way I can answer them you know one at a time and some things came up this week actually about cooling that gave me the idea of explaining explaining it a little bit more um that way you know people would understand how fans work and how cooling works okay oh and then you know that way we can we can talk about it more in the community um i want to thank um harley for all his um inputs in the community lately i know he's been you know providing lots of information for us you know that way we can catch up with the technology those are the kind of things that um that i look forward for in our community and then um to to the other guys about gaming and stuff you know you guys can go ahead and join me i'm gonna be live streaming the game here of course that way we can provide more videos for for the group oh uh, and then another thing that um that I want to talk about is um, opportunities for for upgrading the the, the site since um, I actually ended up moving from UStream since they were charging a handful for me to actually broadcast my my stuff. So I ended up doing XSplit, doing live stream um, through through. Um, Twitch, which is, you know, very grateful for. Okay, so a couple of builds here that I really admire. Um, uh, this past week, uh, here's here's one. Let, you know, let me guys, let me know if you guys have any question. Again, let me explain it. Twitch has a chat on the side of the screen, and that way you guys can communicate with me. Like right now, I have, I have a viewer. So if you guys, please... Don't be afraid to to chat or say something. You know, I'll be here to answer those questions. Okay. So this this right here is fantastic. Um, right above is uh, I believe it's Raymond's build. Yeah, Raymond built that all green, <laughs> all green Nvidia or um whatever that company is i forgot sorry um then the bottom i believe um let me correct this 
let me take a look at my computer real quick. I know there's been a lot of uh, build that was coming up lately for for the community, and uh, you know I salute you guys for all your build. You know it's really good. Okay, the build in the bottom is from Jose Marie uh, Jose Marie de Guzman. There you go, that's his name. And um, that was fantastic build. And that that wallpaper that you provided, thank you. That was that was great. That was great. I'm actually using that right now, and. You know, um, for all the questions, like, um, you know, um, like the 120 intake fan and how many fans that we're gonna, we're gonna do from Roden or Roden, sorry if I'm mis mispronouncing your name, you know, I'll, I'll go ahead and tackle this, that along today's episode, okay? And then we have a special, we have something special, you know, this is, um, this is one of the guys that I um that I you know pretty much work with all the time in the community. He is one of our expert. Well, yeah, he he says he's not, but not a lot of people actually know what Linux is. Now, Linux is world internationally um more I would say on par with Apple because of the the it's pretty much unlocked. Everything is unlocked for you, for you. And there's a lot of opportunity with Linux. And um, I know, the Hulk and Iceman. That was amazing, right? <laughs> Let's give a round of applause for those two. Very good. <laughs> All right, so this guy is Noriel Barometro. My name is Noriel from Subic Sambales. And I am also a proud member of BC and Chichas Philippines. And in behalf of our admins, I would like to welcome you all in our group, the PC into Chest Philippines, and of course to our friends show, the Good Nerdy Morning Show of Sir Harris. So we expect and we hope that we all continue to support our community. So let's uh, contribute and participate. Again, welcome. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Sorry. So when I was saying, uh, if you guys need a, you want an opportunity to, to, um, to advertise yourself, um, just let me know, and I will post your video on, on my page on the show. Um, this is actually my first time using um, Twitch and XSplit. You know, I was I got so used to using UStream, so. Guys, if um, if you got if you know if there is something that you know like my mic is off, thank you, thank you for letting me know. Um, please let me know. <laughs> um, that is the toothpaste experiment. Yep, right there, in all its glory. Now what we're gonna do is um, we're actually I'm actually gonna take this apart, and you know um. You know, step by step, and I'm gonna explain to you what's the benefits of having having an open system. Um, that way, you guys can see it and and stuff. So, let's go back to the picture, so you guys can admire the the good good stuff here. <laughs> so, 
there it is. So let me go ahead and set up the the computer. That way I can open it up for you guys. Okay? All right, let's do this. I, I know if you guys can hear me or if you guys can't, just let me know because this mic, I haven't really tried this. So if you guys can hear me fine, great. Okay? All right, let's do this. Who is watching? So let's break this apart. Let me put it right there. Let's have another sip of this coffee. Again, to all of you guys watching, good morning. And thank you for watching. So, let me put this right here. So the premise of this, um, in that way, you guys can understand what we're going to do is, what we're going to try to do is um, take everything off the, the CPU or the, the case and lay it off in the, this little block that I um, have in here. And um, we're not actually going to boot it up. And I'm going to explain to you I explain to you guys how you can actually check if there's an error or um, you have a short on your system before installing Windows. All right. All right. Let's insert music here. <laughs> now I don't really have music, but you know, if you guys want to, you guys can play your own music. <laughs> Uh, this is my second video, so you guys um, just insert your own music. This will probably take a little bit of the time. Well, not really. All right. All right. While I'm at it, I'm gonna explain to you guys the type of um, you know. There's types of cases. There's multiple types. The most commonly used is the ATX. I use ATX because it doesn't really, you know, um, it's not bulky. I used to I used to be a big fan of, you know, big ATX cases. You know, um, X ATX. I used to love those stuff, but then there was really no point of using it because you don't really use all that much when it comes to computer unless you're really one of those buy it buy but you buy everything you see and install everything in your computer which most of the case doesn't really happen so so let me put this back real quick No, I wish I can put some music here. Maybe I would. All right. And we're working in the back. All right. I'll move the camera right here so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. I know this is basic, but for all the people who I don't know how to build a PC. Let's talk about it right now. Your CPU goes right there. Okay, that's basic. Your RAM, PSU, or your power supply is in the bottom, right there. Now this um, this power supply is not completely um, modular. Modular saying is like. Uh, comes with this slots right here let me take this off and I can show you guys a little bit more about it all right 
well, this time I'm most likely gonna have to lay it down. And point the camera a little bit on the top. Then move the mic. All right. And lay it down like so. And you guys can see all my little pictures right there when I was a baby boy. Move the sound. Yes, I am filming in my room. So, this right here is my old PC I built about back in 08, like I explained in my old video. I built this um, when I was just starting to, you know, do that, you know, it's, it looks cool, buy it kind of thing. Then I realized there's no not no point about it of buying it and stuff. So uh, so once I edit this video, I'll make sure I put some music on. <laughs> like I said, I'm I'm just getting used to XSplit. This is my first video on XSplit. And Twitch. <laughs> What's up, Jonathan? Good morning, bro. Thank you for joining today's show. Alam ko bumabahaja niyon. So, now that we had this, we got this fan off, it will be much easier for us to. So, this is not an SP 180 or 120. It's an old fan. Came with the uh, Corsair. Now I will go ahead and show the my system as well that I'm currently using right now. That way you guys can, you know, I can explain it a little bit more. Of what it is. So it looks like we got everything off. Just have a couple of little screws right here. You know, we all need to lose our screws sometimes. <laughs> Now to um to everyone who's in the group right now, you guys um don't be afraid to show off what you got. Doesn't matter what it is, I'm gonna feature it in the video. Doesn't matter what it is, we're all the same, we're all modders. If you build your own computer, you're successful, okay? Not everybody can actually build their own computer, just so you know that. So Looks like I got the motherboard off, except this one screw doesn't want to come off. You know, this system is so old that um, some of the screws I use is actually stripped. This. 
Yeah, we were having a thunderstorm earlier, so I was waiting for uh, you know for us to have a power outage. That's why. Oop. There goes the camera. All right. So, a PS2. Let me explain real quick. While you guys look at that. So this is a PSU. Power supply. This is a must for all system builders, of course. Whatever whatever um, power supply you, you got when you first bought your CP your case, they usually come with a free free one. Now do I suggest using those? No. <laughs> because why? Those voltages there is most of the time unregulated so meaning young voltage voltage that comes out to your CPU is not stable it will have spikes it will grab more power that that's necessary now bronze gold platinum doesn't really matter um, what matters is your how um, of course your the power you need of course if it there is a specific power need, you know, in the, every computer. And, you know, um, what matters is how much bo voltage and how much regu it's, it, it's regulating on a constant basis. Now, your, your, C your power, your CPU will grab the necessary power, but if you leave that in your BIOS and leave it automatic, Usually, will it will get more power and your computer will heat up faster. Okay, so I highly suggest as soon as you guys get your CPU or your computer, please, 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 go to your BIOS and set the proper voltages for your CPU, or else you're gonna you're gonna shorten the life of your CPU. Okay. Yes, bro. It is. It is my old CPU. Sorry. <laughs> I'm having an issue with this one screw. There it is. All right, so let's take off the All right, so finally got it off. All right, so this is what it is bare bones. All right. All right, let me explain the part of the chassis. It's what you call the chassis computer or your case. All right, for all new system builders, PS PSU goes here. Some cases have their PSU on the top. Some actually side, um, place um, on, on the side, on leaning towards the back end, which is what the Fantex is. Um, and then and on here is your motherboard tray this is where you put your motherboard there's screws on there um, usually they don't come with it so this little screw don't lose it okay don't lose that so you just pretty much connect it on there your screw goes in there front panel I.O. connectors so there is a reset switch power switch HDD LED, uh, LED and your USB of course this is USB 2 surprisingly then what else there's um there's a fan on here and the back exhaust go goes here rear I.O. shield As your rear IO shield and on the front you have your drives yeah it's powered by Corsair 
<laughs> All right, so this I bought this case because of the airflow. This was back in the time when I was doing mainly airflow system. Wasn't doing anything fancy yet. So this came with two um, um, uh, one, one, 240 fan or 180? 180 fans. 2180. And then it, the actual panel for it comes with an HDD drive. So the fan go, it sits on top of the HDD drive. So uh, the in airflow. Okay, we're, we're into air, airflow now. So fans operate this way. Okay. This, let's just say, is an airflow, AF, for short, you know, we'll just call it AF for short. So, you can either place this in the front, like that, on the top, or in the back. How you would want to do it is, if you have, let's pretend this is your HDD, correct? Let me kneel down in here. You have that on there. You put on there. Now what what it does is that's why I changed case. Is it's sucking in airflow, uh, air, cool air from here, and grabbing the air from the HDD, and pro that produces heat, getting it stuck in the system blowing it up all right now some some of you will think okay that will work fine not always not always because depending on the fan you use when it's airflow basically what you're using is you're just blowing more heat into your system now there is another new fan well not really um, new but it's an SP fan you know SP1 static pressure what it does how how AF how a regular fan blows is like it goes let's just say that there you go it goes in and scatter like that it scatters that's airflow static okay I'm putting it wrong static pressure is it, it it's more straight and it's a higher velocity of a fan. It spins faster and it blows it blows faster air straight through. So if let's just say you have this as HDD and then right there, it's gonna penetrate through your D, uh, HDD faster than spreading it into your HDD and keeping the air stuck in your system. So that's, you know, for me, I would prefer SP fans in the front. I would. If you, if you have HDD, okay? Now, if you don't have any, let's just say it's clear, there's nothing. Yeah, sure, airflow would definitely help you because you'll, you're, you'll be getting fresh air all the time. So that's how fans work. Now, exhaust, exhaust fans in the back. Would you would you use AF or SP? Sorry, I have a little gash right there. Um, you would use for me on my own opinion. It, it all it all depends on your your preference. You would use SP fans. Why? Because if the air is sucking in faster, faster, of course, it's blowing air faster blowing air out faster so pretty much your whole system is constantly changing air it's almost like the pump like pump for um, your liquid cooling operates exactly the same thing it constantly changes water that's what it uses and within the water it drags the heat you know with the water and goes to your radiator and it dissipates the heat out of your radiator now another question is I don't know if you guys can see this I don't know if you guys can see this oh, all right let me move this here there you go Ooh, 
five viewers today. Thank you guys for watching. So, if you have a radiator on here, I can't take out the radiator because it's a pain in the butt to take that out. Just say, I know I'm using the IO shield a lot. If you have a radiator on here, don't use an airflow, okay? Don't, don't use AF fans. Don't use AF fans because it's, it's blowing out. Um, it's the pressure from the fans is not blowing it out fast enough, okay? SP fans is the way to go because you're, you're, you're pushing, you're pushing the, well, you're pulling it out. So, you know, that's what she said. But, <laughs> but um, yeah, so you would want the radiator, you know, is it, is it, okay, is it push like that? Push configuration, radiator, or pull configuration? Now, doesn't really matter. Doesn't. Guys, don't play tricks on me. It doesn't matter, okay? It still operates the same way. Okay, it, it's I, I tested out, benchmarked it. They're all the same. Because why? Because of the radiator itself. Okay, but which fan to use? Well, if you have SP, you're you're pulling faster, you're pushing faster. Okay, AF, you're blowing the the air slower. You're pulling it slower. Now, all right, let's. This is your radiator. Is it better to use it on here or on the top? On the top, okay. Depends on your system. Now, if your system has, you, you have good fans in the front, if you have good fans in the front, then you're, you, you would want a good fan here. You would want a good fan here because you only have one fan here. You would want to push, uh, push, put the radiator on here and um, actually you wouldn't want to put the radiator here okay don't put the radiator here put it on the top okay because that way your airflow coming in is not being blocked by your radiator okay it will blow the air out faster on the top the top right there it um, if you have a radiator sure it will blow out air but not as significant as the one in the back now if you're not you're doing air if you're doing air for all air system users um what you do with your your block is the air coming in you do a push and then a pull configure configuration push and push and pull then out okay that's what the system does and then on the top um, if you have a radiator like like w with the water cooling, um, just have your SP fans blowing up. And I like putting the 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 fans the radiator on the top because gravity, gravity simply just pulls the water faster. And then the your your loop will actually be bending like that. Not when you put it right here. Sometimes your loop will go like this. You know, so there's resistance. So if you put it in the top, you have, you know, unlimited, it's pretty much constant. All right. So that's, that's for the airflow. All right. So you guys have any questions? If not, we're going to move to the, the, the system settings. Now, okay. Before we go, another question. So is it okay to use this little dinkies? Okay. Is it? <laughs> I know all of us already know that this is okay. Okay, for if you're not gonna be overclocking, if you're not gonna be system building, and if you're just brand new, you can use this. It's not. It's not. A, there's not a problem with it. The, but the only issue is buy a better fan. Okay, if you're gonna be using this, buy a good fan. But you can still use this. You know, it. It's all standard for all of us. Okay, we all went here. This is the old, you know, precious. All right, so that's it for the the system build. Uh, let me take this off.
and let's put in the system in here. Bam. So. All right. This out of the way and put the camera on a better angle here for you guys. All right, so now we're looking at the system. All right, for all the system, new system builders, this is a pretty old, a pretty old, um, you know, um, motherboard. So don't expect it to be fancy, but there was this was I able to utilize SLI. So PCI slots. This is all PCI slots. Sixteen, sixteen. Your CPU slot, your RAM slots, RAM slots right here. Your back, back I/O with all your USB ports and stuff. And on this side right here. You guys will be surprised because it's still IDE. I'm still using IDE back in the day. And those are your SATA ports right there. All right, so basic when it comes to motherboard. Um, not all motherboard will have this. This is your switches. This is your readouts, okay? What we're aiming to do today is have that as FF. So there's no issues. that like so all right so your CPU goes oh. ha new mistake put in the back right there and I'll put this here. Now, I'm not sure if it's actually going to operate or put FF on there um, because we don't have the I.O. connections. Now, if it does, I can explain to you guys why. All right. So you will put the, this over right here. We'll have that right there. We have a little better right there. This. I'm not going to be using that. So, all right. Now, will the power supply reach? Goodness. All right. I need to go under. Take this out. So now we're all plugged in. You can tell that by there's a little light right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Right side. So will it work? Will it will it work just the way it is? See? All right, so it's re giving out readouts of 7F. That's an error somewhere. That's probably because of the, uh, the IO not being placed. Now, on your motherboard, you, you, some motherboards has this in your readouts, and you have the reset and your power switch. So let me make sure everything's connected properly. Turn this off. Hopefully that was it. So we don't have video cards, so obviously it's not gonna be powering up since I'm using my video card right there. But let's try it again. 
it's gonna boot up for sure. It's not a problem. 7F is probably your video card missing. Now, this right here is important, okay? For you, all you guys, new system builders, okay? So you guys don't have any case, that's all right. But what I suggest for you to do is, of course, get a case first. And then, what you call this? Um, you know, fix it up properly in your case. So that way, you guys are not, um, you know, you guys, you guys are not breaking things. <laughs> you don't want to break your old, your computer. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's not gonna burn out, bro. It's not gonna burn out. All right, so. Seems like it, it works, okay? It's, motherboards are designed um, that way, okay? It's all designed to work R on the table, yes. It's designed to work because um, the PCB in the bottom, the bottom is just your PCB. There is, there's no, that's where the, um, or all the, the soldering took place. There's nothing that's going on in the bottom. Now some motherboards actually have those stuff. They actually have circuit circuitry in the bottom, but most motherboards don't. So, um, what is this used for? What is this really useful for? Well, if you guys get your new parts, okay. Let's just say, you know, you guys are under warranty and stuff like that. Well. This will be the perfect time to actually benchmark your your parts. And that way you, you don't want to put it in your case and then return it. You know, um you know, it, it's just going to be a hassle. You know, you got everything figured out, you got everything working, and then all of a sudden another part is there's a part broken, so you're going to have to take something out. So, there is cases where where it's just open it's just pretty much open, um, which I'm planning maybe someday, if this becomes successful, we'll have I'll have a benchmark um, benchmark table, and that way I can show every part. So that's really useful for that. It's useful for benchmarking your items, your merchandise, especially your motherboard. Oh, there's fire going on. It's not me, guys. It's not me. I promise. <laughs> <So> <laughs> Did somebody call 911? <laughs> uh, so, um, yeah, so in the end, the conclusion on this is it does work. So it's useful for benchmarking your CPU, okay? And your power supply, um, may, when you place your power supply on the benchmark, don't place it downwards, okay? Um, because the air is some some like this one the six um, six twenty actually has a vent in the bottom, so don't place don't place your G, uh, PSU where the fan is, so okay, that's a rule rule of thumb. Num always something that always breaks before before anything else. Turn this off before I short circuit everything. Your RAM. RAM, yeah, we go through this like all the time. The, this Dominator, I wasn't really fond of, fond of it. I wasn't impressed. It was junk, to be honest with you. I, I went through like four of them already. But um, which um, you when you boot up your um your BIOS, and on the bottom, on the, on the BIOS. There's a, there's a setting there for your timings and your voltage, to make your to make this last longer for you guys, read read your RAM. Okay, there's on on your RAM, there's your timings on there. Zoom in. It's not zooming in. No, zoom zoom zoom. Okay, it's not zooming in. But okay, there's timings and the frequency, frequency of the RAM and the voltage this requires 2.10 that's high that's high okay so in order for you to to have this last longer 
fix your timings and fix your voltage. Same goes with the CPU. Okay, go to your BIOS, don't be lazy. Fix your voltage because that will make, you know, it will have more mileage for your PC in the long run. All right, so, well, that's it for this experiment. And again, um, I can show you guys on the next episode. Well, this week we're having the live talk. So the live wire talk. Now I didn't do the live wire talk this week, like I said, because um, I didn't have enough questions to answer. There wasn't a lot of things to talk about. Um, the chat room was quiet for a little bit, or well, the 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 community was quiet for a little bit. Um, uh, if you guys have any questions or something you want to ask me for this Thursday or Friday, actually Friday, I keep saying Thursday because it's Thursday here, guys. I, I live in Virginia, so, <laughs> so I'm not in I'm not in the Philippines. So um, please let me know, um, send me the questions and. Some things, you, some things you guys want to talk about when it comes to to computer parts. I know I still got to talk about the split frame rendering, which is uh, I figured it out. I know what to answer, but we'll leave that for the next episode of Live Wire Talk, and we'll talk more about water cooling next episode. So today we tackle we we'll, we we'll tackle airflow, okay, airflow guys. We we'll tackle the chassis. Um, I didn't went you know in depth when it comes to the chassis or the chassis cases and the chassis sizes. Um, I didn't really go explain to you guys a little bit more of this. Um, and then I did talk about the power supply. So this, this episode has been, you know, a lot of knowledge for you guys. So for you guys, you know, newbies when it comes to the PC building, um, don't be afraid to ask us, you know, we've been doing this for quite a while. Um, don't forget to ask the admins and don't forget to thank the admins of course and you know there's other people in the community who are, who is willing to help you out and i will post all you guys' uh work um if you guys do decide to build your own pc like like you know like this guys these guys are awesome you know that that's beautiful that's beautiful i really I, I love that you know I, I used to have i have one just like that back in the day but it was all red so we have we have like like what he said um um let's see yep i'm using my macbook pro so let's just um before i go let me see um <laughs> oh oh bro I, I power it on because um the motherboard has switches on it it has um it has switches on it so Um, it, I can't, unfortunately, I can't, I can't boot it up because I'm using the current, um, what you call this? It works the current, um, GPU. I'm using it and my, my, uh, I'm using this for streaming because it was my first time actually streaming to, to XSplit. But, um, yes, it will boot up. I promise you that. It will boot up as long as you do everything correct. Okay, it will it will boot up. There's no problem with that, um, because like I said, the back of the motherboard there's there's nothing going on with that unless unless you dip this in the water or you don't or you're not careful enough that there was water on the table. Yeah, you will fry it. Okay, you will fry it. So, again, um, round of applause for these two guys. Excellent job very good so this concludes our, our you know our episode today next week's episode we're going to be tackling more into water cooling we'll talk about it more and um this week's talk you know let let me know your questions and what what we'll talk about and the questions in, uh, in the forum or the group all right guys and again this this was fun <laughs> please continue to support um, my videos in the community uh, don't forget to hit subscribe on your video uh, all my videos or like my videos if you liked it and um, don't forget to hit subscribe on YouTube and follow me um, or add me on Facebook Harris Hagen and 
on YouTube with Livewire Tech. All right, and follow me here in um, in Twitch, and I'll continue to do this for you guys. Again, to everyone, thank you, thank you. It was fun, guys, and again, thank you.